Hello here, I'm here with Tim from Sigma UK and we are talking obviously about Sigma lenses. So what have we got here, Tim? Yeah, so we've got... Uh, we've so got everything. We've got everything? Yeah, we've pretty much got it all with us. Um, the, uh, I guess the, 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 the showstoppers this year are probably going to be the, the new 15600. The beast, the, heavy, the heavy beast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So this is kind of, so we, in this signal range we've already got two 15600s, the contemporary and the sport, um, but they were for DSLRs. And this one is for mirrorless, and it's uh, it's kind of the best of both worlds. It's like the size and weight of the contemporary. I have reviewed it recently. There's a link below as well, so yeah, yeah. check that out. But I love this lens. It's very, yeah. very good. And it's got all the features. It's the heavy, sport, so it's, but yeah, it's good. It's, it is, yeah, it, yeah, it's brilliant. And that, but well, actually, well. like for the sport, it's about a kilogram lighter than the original. Yeah, it's so about it's, a kilogram, something like that. The I mean, for the, for the spec, for the for what it is, I think it's still reasonable weight. It's yeah. heavy. Yeah, but yeah, 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 if yeah. you compare it to you know to to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's very heavy, but uh, comparing it to other lenses in that, in that kind of class, yes. I think it's uh, very, very competitive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, what's and, then, we got? and then the other things that are probably going to be quite popular are the, are the new I-series lenses, so, um, yeah, which I do so, love. Yeah, we've got six, uh, six in the range now. Yeah. Um, so we've got two 24s. Actually, I, I haven't seen 24 yet. Have you seen it? No. Oh, brilliant. I wasn't allowed to. Uh, there is oh a my god, there's, somewhere, but yeah. it's missing. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, it's amazing. Here you go. Ah, oh, hey. thank you, Sam. Yeah. There's there you the go. 24. Yeah, new 24. So, um, so this is an F2, whereas the old 24 was. Uh, now, yeah, because I haven't used the 24 yet. No, the, the old one, the old one, the, fo the focusing was such a close distance. So it was like almost yeah. macro lens yeah. in, in one package. How is the new one? Can you focus this, this close as well? Uh, no. So the, the old okay. one was 10.8 uh, centimeters, I yeah, think. So, so it's almost it was quite unique, touching the end of the hood. Yeah. yeah. Um, whereas this one's a bit longer. I can't remember exactly. What, I think it's like 20 something. 20 yeah. So it's kind of standard, standard for 24. Yeah. Um, slightly bigger as well. But it's slightly bigger, yeah. but it's got the f2 aperture, and yeah. uh, it's generally now been regarded. There's been a, quite a few reviews done of it. It's generally regarded as being the uh, the, uh, the nice. sharpest 24 mil. Uh, I'm sure. For, I'm sure you let me have one uh, for for review. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I do love the 90 millimeter. The new 90 millimeter. Yeah. Yeah. I-series is, is definitely one of my favorite lenses of all time. Yeah, yeah. It's just the size of it, the, the sharpness is just yeah. insane. So yeah, those are kind of our newest things, but then we've got like, loads of like classics like yeah, the 105. It's, it's, it's one thing, you know, uh, people dismiss the old, the old lenses, but they're still, they're still obviously very valid, you know. Yeah, yeah. Not just this allowed, because obviously for Nik on Nikon you can adapt them. The Canon as well, I think you can adapt them still. Yeah, so yeah. With new cameras yeah. here, so yeah. they're still very much usable. This one is uh, a bit of a classic, yeah. This yeah. is what we call the Boca Master, yeah, F1.4. And I haven't used it yet. You haven't used it no. yet? Oh, it's amazing. I, th I, think, I think the review is coming. I mean, it's massive it and do. heavy, but it's just yeah. awesome. I've heard awesome. good things, yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much unbeatable. How safe are these mounds on the <laughs> stand? <laughs> we don't know yet. <laughs> they should oh, be okay, they've got a few screws in there, but... Uh, yeah, if it wasn't me putting it now, you would just you would drop it down. <laughs> <laughs> if you broken lenses on a day. Yeah, so that's our kind of newest standard yeah. zoom, um, full frame, um, and it's kind of similar to our 24 to 70. It's f2.8 constant aperture, but it's quite a bit smaller because it starts at 28, so yeah. that enables us to get the size right there. There's also a review on my channel, like there's a link below. Yeah, <laughs> so did, what did you I, think of this? I do like that lens a lot, yeah. 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 I think it's just that you have to get over that it's not 24. It's, yeah. it's not as wide, yeah. but uh, quality wise, it's as good as a 24 70. Yes. And it's lighter. And smaller. It's a really good like workhorse lens because like you know if you're yeah. sort of in the situation where you often think oh, I'll take my camera out and then you think oh no it's too heavy I'll just take my phone. Yeah, that, that's, that's yeah. the yeah it's a great lens for that because it's just so now, light and small. Now that was a question. Yeah. Where when is the 15 millimeter coming out? <laughs> in DGDN. In DGDN, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, we've we've had we've got the 85 and the 35. Yeah. So. So it's it's kind of. I would it's, hope it's that due. we'll see it. Yeah. It's due soon. I expect we'll probably see it soon, although. Japan, Sigma Japan are quite sort of tight lipped on, you know, when yeah, they yeah. release and stuff. So we don't but find I hope so, it's coming soon. Yeah, I, really hope I hope so. so. I think it would sell very well. So I'll, I'll be yeah, buying yeah. one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We got a, yeah. the 100 to 400, isn't it? Yeah, yes, the 100 to 400. Yeah, which yeah, so I, did, I did claim is one of the best zoom lens, uh, zoom lenses ever. I love that lens. Just the beautiful bokeh. It's just a light as well. The yeah. size of it. Yeah, it is. It's, very light. It's an amazing yeah. lens. It is. Yeah. It's, um, yes, yeah, so we've got one. There's a review. There's yeah, a yeah, check it. Yeah, check it. We've got a 100 400 uh, DSLR version, which, was, yeah. which we already had, and we released this as a, 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 a mirrorless version, yeah. so a DGDN version. Um, but I have, I have used, I've used both because I've, yeah. I've used the, the DSLR with adapter on Nikon Z6, and I've used the, the Sony version, and they're and they, they identical pretty much. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, pretty so, 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 and no difference. No, no. One of the differences is you've got this tripod the, the, the color, yeah. so you can put a tripod mount on it. Because um, you buy a separate color for that. A separate, that's separate right, yeah. yeah, it doesn't come with an yeah. engine.
quite, quite small tonight, and we've had yeah. quite a lot of people. Um, so, I mean, traditionally, this is a kind of a, a fast action lens, you know, sports, wildlife, aviation, yeah. that kind of stuff. We've had quite a lot of landscapers by it because it's, um, you know, for sort of that con yeah. compressed perspective because it's so light. It's such a small difference between uh, f1.4, f1.8, and f2, like almost none. None, it's, yeah. It's yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I mean, I'm talking about ice series now. I love these lenses. Just the size and the, and the performance that they deliver is very incredible. That's right. Yeah, and some people buy, you know, they'll buy something like this because it's got f1, an f1.4 aperture, but actually, yeah. some people don't just don't need yeah. it. You know, you just no, I, I, I've shot over 20 years professionally, and uh, I would say 99.9% .9 of my clients would not have no different. No, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't understand it anyway. They, no, they don't care. And they, they, a lot of people associate the blurred background with a professional, a professional. Exactly. But, uh, but you get it with f2. You get it with f2, f2.8. You know, yeah, so right, exactly. It's, yeah. it's not like, yeah. you know, you're not going to get it at all because the lens is not as wide aperture as yeah. this one. So actually, if you, yes. if you don't need it, you, you're probably better off going for something a bit smaller because yeah, otherwise yeah, the you've got the size around. and the weight of that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. it's, it's, yeah. it's huge yeah. compared to this, yeah. I mean, that's a portrait lens, so I suppose, like, you might want to shoot at that wider aperture. Yeah. But, but if you're shooting, certainly yeah, landscapes... It's, it's, it's a specialist tool. You wouldn't take that on holiday with you. I mean, you would, you know, but someone would. But uh, to carry around all day, yeah. you know, it's, yeah, yeah. I've got a small lens on this and I'm sh my hand is shaking because I'm struggling with it. I can't imagine carrying that all day. It would be very, very difficult. Yeah, it would, yeah. yeah. You and, must switch hands. That's like, I mean, that's... I'm switching hands. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's actually, I mean, that's going to be used mostly for landscapes and it's a 24mm. Yeah. So, does it matter if it hasn't got the wide aperture? No. Probably I not. I mean, especially if you go you can go close with it, as we said before. Yeah. When you get close, the, the, the separation, the blur, the, 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 blur, the blurness of the background is, is amazing. It's yeah. still good. Very good lens. I'm not sure what this weighs, but it's it's about 300 grams, so it's yeah. super, super light. So yeah. This is a proper nice. definition of a, of a nifty, not fifty, but a nifty. It is, yeah, <laughs> and it's made entirely of metal. metal yeah. Even the lens hood yeah. is metal, so it's uh, yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's got the aperture ring built in as well. So uh, as all of them, as all, uh, all, all the series, yeah, series, yeah. And six of those now. So uh, when is the 50 millimeter coming yeah. out? <laughs> You'll be the first. If I ask you six times, you might you might slip. Yeah, yeah. The date. Yeah, next week. I mean, no. Oh well, I hope so. Yeah. I, I hope so. I hope so. Um, yeah, it's, it's yeah. difficult to. It's very difficult there, to know. There's a lot of people asking for 72. No, 70. 70 to 200, is it? 200, yeah, I think, yeah. yeah. It's a lot of people asking for that as well. Yeah, when's the, that coming the, out? Yeah, the big things we get asked are so the, when's the 70 to 200 E mount coming out? Yeah. When are we getting RF mount? When are we getting Nikon's yeah, yeah, so That's not a question, yeah. Where's, where's all the mounts coming? Do you, yeah. Is there any, any news on the mounts coming no, out? No, and Fuji's not a lot of people yeah. for Fuji. Um, uh, no, no, what, no sign Do you know yet. why? Why isn't? Why can you not make a I, Nikon and, and Canon mainly, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I mean, we assume that the, that the holdup is on the Canon end because, yeah. uh, you know, our CEO has said many times that he's very aware that there's a demand and, you know, he's, he's kind of yeah. working on it. But I, I think if, if it was up to us, we probably would already have them out. But yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, but it, I, I mean, because obviously, awesome. you always, you're, as we can see all, all there, you know, you, you've been always making the lenses for Canon and Nikon. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, so that, yeah. so it's kind of strange that not, you know, you've got a new Nikon and Canon cameras now, and you don't have a mount. I mean, nobody else does, does it apart from Viltrox. Nobody else does a Nikon Nikon lenses. Yeah, and, uh, and, the, anyway. and the same with Canon um, RF. Yeah. Uh, yeah, RF. So uh, 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 the fact that no one, no one makes them, this makes me leads me to believe that probably no one has. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't make you look mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, so it's, it's, it's all it's all of them. All of them manufacturers cannot produ produce at the moment lenses for Nikon and Canon yeah. uh, mirrorless cameras. Yeah, and you can see why Canon would do that because you know they want to sell their own lenses. They want to sell their own lenses. Yeah, yeah but um, hopefully they'll open the system up as Sony have. Um, yeah. And, and like it'll be a game changer for, for 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 the whole market really i think it would it's, uh, i think it would because these lenses are amazing so so having more customers obviously you know i'm a nikon user as well as, as oh, yeah, sony yeah. and panasonic so yeah. so i'd love to see sigmas you know on, on, yeah. on the z6 that's z6 too yeah. i'm still using 50 millimeter oh, yeah. with adapter yeah, yeah. my number wow. one lens for everything really i film all my interviews if i'm professionally the other way with a sigma on wow. a nikon Brilliant. with adapter yeah, so that's amazing yeah, well, you got you got all the lenses. You've, you've got been, yeah. This is uh, this is the big. This is a bit of a view. So this is our this is our biggest, our most expensive lens. This is um, well, actually, it's technically yeah, it's our most expensive current lens at least. Yeah, yeah there's the bigger one. There's a bazooka one. There's the big the one. Bazooka, yeah, that's, that's like that's, that's like fifty. That's the most expensive. But that's absolutely. Which one is this? So this is the five hundred mil f. Oh, okay, yes. So F4, this yeah. is uh, about five, wildlife, wildlife. five or six thousand pounds. Five thousand pounds. Um, so this yeah, this is a proper big wildlife lens. Constant f4 aperture, so it won't yeah. it's a prime lens. So yeah, super sharp, very, 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 very. So who would use this? Something like this. This is sports or yeah, or sports, a, wildlife, or wildlife yeah. aviation. Yeah. But none of the lens I haven't used yet. It's, yeah, it's well, much, you, it looks sweet. Yeah. You can always borrow it. And, I think uh, I think you know yeah. the review might come soon. 
Yeah. I have yeah, to build some well. muscles. I've been carrying camera today at the show. I've you know, built some muscles to carry some of this. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, you have to switch hands again. I'm switching hands again. Switching hands, yeah. I'm only kind of, uh, my knowledge of Sigma lenses, apart from the 50 millimeter Nikon I've been using for, for years and years now, yeah. is the VGDN lenses for some you know, an L mount. Uh, you, know, you don't realize how, how big the, the catalog actually is. Because you look here, around here, how many lenses you got for you know for for the DSLR cameras as well? Yeah, it's, and uh, this is all of our lenses. Either we've got yeah, we've got there's loads in the range, absolutely loads. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Even, even I'm surprised, and I thought I knew everything about the single lenses. <laughs> you know. So in E-mount and L-mount, I think we've got uh, there's the same number of E-mount and L-mount lenses, and I think it, I think we're on 27 at the moment. Wow. So, uh, but in Canon and Nikon, we must be in the 60 range, I suppose, or something like that. So nice. quite quite a lot of lenses. It's, it's a nice yeah. selection here. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, it's, it's, it looks it looks very impressive. Yeah. This one, this is the forty mil. I'm going to film just in case you drop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, mean, is a, this is this is. Look at these. It's just it's like a lens cap, and you, you put a lens on the wall. Yeah, simple as that. It's just a bolted on lens cap. Yeah. You, you, you have to only watch my, my videos to see how many times I drop the lens cap in my outtakes because I do <laughs> when I try to put it on. This is dangerous. <laughs> So yeah, this, this yeah. is interesting. This is the 40 mil yeah. f1.4. Yeah. It's quite a big lens. It was originally designed for the cine market, yeah. but it was adapted for stills. And this is rumored to be Sigma's sharpest lens. All oh, right. Yeah. Again, another lens I haven't so, used. Yeah. So a lot, lot of people well, say that's, that's, a, uh, that's a, the HSM is in the lens. Yeah, yeah, uh, but, yeah the but you can uh, you can get it on um, E-mount and L-mount. Okay, so yeah, there's so a version for E-mount yeah, as yeah. well. Yeah. It's another lens I have to review soon. Yeah. <laughs> But, um, and I, I came here and I said it when we started. I have reviewed, I think, most of them apart from the new 24. No, I haven't. I missed a lot. <laughs> You've like, got a lot of work to do. I, yeah, there's, a, there's a long way to go. <laughs> but that's worth, yeah. that's worth yeah. using. That's a really, really nice. Lens. It's a little bit on the heavy side. But, um, With someone drilling. Oh, drilling yeah. <laughs> someone drilling. Yeah, see, that, that's what there I'm talking about. I, st I don't seem to put the lens caps on, they just keep falling off. And uh, putting <laughs> lens on the lens cap on the wall is, is mad. And <laughs> this, this is my, uh, this is the, so we've got two 14s to 24s. One yeah. is for DSLRs. Yeah, the HSM version, yeah. Yes, And the right. DGDN one, yeah. DGDN for, for mirrorless. Yeah. And the DG, this is the, this is the DSLR one, but the, the mirrorless one is my favourite Sigma yeah. lens. For, I, I love it as well, I have reviewed it and, uh, and it was one of those lenses kind of I just just keep giving. You know? Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's such a good lens. Yeah, a lot of people, people, people complain about it because uh, because the filter system. That's only one thing, you know. Yeah. That the, the glass is not flat at the front, so you have to use a specialist uh, filters in the back. So yeah, should we see if we can find one? There's got to be one yeah. there somewhere. So that's the DGDN yeah. version. So that's this one's for uh, mirrorless. And it's, yeah. you can see it's quite quite a bit smaller than the um, yeah, the, the, the older version. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. quite a lot narrower the barrel. Yeah, and the not, not glass is small as well in the front. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, slightly smaller front. End. But it presumably light as well. Yes, quite the, a bit the lighter, weight, yeah. the weight. Um, yeah. This is just a brilliant. It's my favourite. Yeah. It's just brilliant. If you're I, have, scared, I, 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 did, I did a big hike walk uh, with, with that lens. I was reviewing it, and, uh, and uh, just the landscaping issue with this handheld event. It's yeah. incredible. It's unbelievable. It's like you can put it at f2.8, wide open at 14 mil. Yeah. Take a shot and zoom into the corners in Photoshop, and, and it's it absolutely. Perfect. Perfect. What I've done because I, I've, I shoot out of uh, real estate, and uh, oh, do you? Yeah. there's not there's not always good weather when you're shooting houses. Uh, yeah. So I replace skies. Yeah, and I shot a big selection of skies with that lens because just just so wide and yeah, so yeah. so sharp and so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. The the one downside to this lens, there is only one really, and it's that you can't take off this hood, this yeah. petal hood, which means that to get filters. Um, <laughs> Swapping hands again. Yeah. Uh, which means to, to to get filters, you've got to uh, buy a specialist 150 mil filter kit. So it's quite a big filter. Yeah. Or, or use the, the the back the back filters as well. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. So it's got um it's also got a rear. What's the company? Because you, you lend me the lens with a with a with a filter system. What's the company called? Uh, they actually just. Specific, yeah, there's a for few this. so, um, Hader and Hader, Ka yeah, Case, Hader, one, yeah. Uh, do yeah. make them as well, Case, yeah. So, um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's well, about the size like, of like, like a glass filter just slip on the back of the yeah, that's right. Lens. It's about the size of an Obviously, the issue is if, if you're filming and you want to quickly put ND filter on, you have to take the lens off to, to put it on, yeah. But then you know, it's it's yeah. The good news is because it's only the size of an SD card, it's like you can eat carry them around easily. Yeah. Hold, hold that thought, I'm holding it. So, the filters look look a bit like that, so they're, they're pretty small. Very, very thin, quite fragile, and uh, and they just they just, just pop, pop in the in, back yeah. like that. They clip in, yeah. and then um, yeah. But so, so, so I'm saying you know they are great, but you got very little room to hold that filter. That's right. Without sticking your fingers in. Yeah, you just got to be I mean, a little bit know, careful. It's, uh, it's obviously something different. But the, the upside to these 
is that uh, I've got four filters in there. Yeah. Whereas if you carry four 150 mils around, they're it's a big yeah, pack. Yeah, they, yeah. Yeah, and one, one problem with with um, with using the, the big filters, if if you buy the coast, if you're a landscaper, and the sea spray all the time on the oh, yeah, on the filter, front, yeah. you're just constantly like, oh. And you, yeah, but it's the same with the front glass, though. You've got it, the, it is. All the filters want, are yeah. harder to get clean. Oh, okay, yes, yeah. yeah. yeah the these are coated like you know special coating as well. The lenses, yes. so I don't know But these, because they're inside the camera body, they're always clean. Yeah, yeah. So that, nice, that's really nice. Useful. Yeah, the, the single lenses, they're speaking to me. <laughs> I have never, I mean, I have seen them on, on, on YouTube. I have never actually seen one in real life. So, uh, yeah, they look beautiful. I'm yeah. like scared to even come, come close. I've got a yeah, spinal tap moment. Don't even point at them. <laughs> <laughs> Does this one go to 11? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it. Yeah, single lenses. So this is big, yeah. it's a big, it's a bigger selection than I thought because they're, my knowledge is very limited, so there, there is actually quite a lot. They're all in the back row there, if you, if you see them. I think there's only three of these in Britain, I think. So, so this is a 45, 45 yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is a lens before it's actually painted, so you can see it's all, it's all metal. Yeah, it's pretty much all metal. There's a tiny bit of plastic on the inside of the mount, a little bit on the, on the ring there of the, uh, of the hood, and then the front of that is, yeah. uh, is plastic, but the rest... So it's basically the same what all these lenses are before, before they're being painted black. Exactly, yeah. So it's yeah. Fine. So we yeah. should be selling those around. Yeah, they're shiny, shiny silver. Lots, uh, quite someone will, last time. someone yeah. will love these. Yeah, they're yeah, they're cool, aren't they? Yeah, there's Very only nice. a couple of these in the UK. Um, it's a nice little thing. That. Yeah, have a look. Yeah, I'll see you. <laughs> 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 I'd run with it. You want something on eBay? Yeah, probably. Would. <laughs> Thank you, Tim, for this uh, guided tour of all Sigma lenses. Well, most of all Sigma Sigma lenses here the, on your stand at yeah, the photography no, show. No worries. Thanks and for thanks for dropping by and saying hi. Yeah, yeah it's nice to meet you in person. Finally, yeah, you know? finally. Yeah, I know yeah. you from Facebook and the phone. <laughs> so yeah. nice to meet you in person. Yeah, yeah. And we shook hands as well. Like you know, yeah. We'd, yeah. In real life, yeah, actually, shake hands. Yeah, it's, it feels weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much. You know, and I shake your hand, but I'm holding the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. If you like this kind of content, lenses, cameras, reviews, tutorials, and more, uh, please consider subscribing. Follow me on Instagram for for more pictures and, uh, and uh, videos. Just here. Yeah. Subscribe. Just here. <laughs> so here, yeah. and check out Sigma, obviously, and uh, and the lenses. Yeah. See you next time.